Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Listen, before this puppy starts going crazy, let me make sure I uh, give you a hug. If you haven't seen it already, please look at, um, there is a YouTube video. It's called the Whitakers, and the Whitakers live in, I believe it's West Virginia. Not they're a family, okay. And this family, believe it or not, is I don't know, maybe generational incest. And they have this look, all of them have a look. And unfortunately, you know, none of us talk about that. We don't want to talk about that. I know amongst black folk we do, but I don't know as a group, as a community, as a nation, we talk about that. Because there's a lot of that going on in the Caucasian community, and I don't, I think it's relatively embarrassing, and I think that it's something that they don't want to discuss a lot. And it almost looks like it's a town full of these people that are just inbred. And actually, I you know, and I don't mean this in any kind of disrespectful way. I'm starting to look at some of these. Um, um, interviews with some of these QAnon believers and people that are involved with um, craziness and I'm listening to them express themselves and I, I'm not saying that all QAnon members are inbred don't get me wrong but I'm quite sure a few of them are because some of them are just so crazy it's just like they're, they're, here we go, they're totally damn void of some freaking real damn uh, talk. They so goddamn crazy, I can't even imagine even living in the, on a damn planet with people like this. And you looking at them and you saying you really believe that shit? It's just like me sitting there, and I hate to say this because I don't mean to be disrespectful to any of y'all, but I got to call it, I got to say it like I feel it in my heart. Anybody. In the year 2021, they're still waiting for Jesus to pop his ass out the goddamn sky to come and save us. And all this shit going on, he ain't saved us. He just watched Emmett Till get killed. He didn't watch all the goddamn Fred Hampton. He didn't watch all the Black Pepper. He didn't watch people go to jail for no reason. He didn't watch John Brown. We're going to go back to the 1800s. He didn't watch every goddamn thing. And he hasn't stopped and helped us yet. He ain't decided to come out the sky yet. Now we got the era of the QAnon and the Donald Trump and all that. And Jesus still ain't brought his ass down. Oh, I know a lot of y'all mad at me. It really, you know, quite frankly, I could give two dams less. His ass ain't coming. And at this point, I don't know what to say to you other than, Lord God, you're delusional. If you await. For something to come and scoop you up in a vacuum cleaner. Take you on off. Just like Santa Claus when he come through the clouds. Look at all these stories these nuts done told us and we regurgitate. And listen to we got to really be crazy. Oh. Who was in the belly of the whale? Was that Jonah? Jonah! You know. Grab. Fairy tales and nursery crimes. Hey, hey, stop that, you guys. I'm sorry, y'all. Fairy tales and nursery crime is what the Bible has become. Y'all don't, and, you, and some of y'all who supposed to be so knowledgeable don't even know how to pick real scripture out of all that damn thing, stuff that the white man and the, his cronies and the uh, elite and tamper with. Aunt Constantine and all them that decreed that crap to be um, the law of the land, the religion of the people. Listen, but there was something here thousands and thousands of years ago before that Neanderthal came and gave us we gave them religion. Know your history. And they took it and perverted it, plagiarized it, 
and then represented it back to us as a living word of God. And unless you even scared enough, and then they got you afraid to even investigate. Don't question God. Don't question God. So it's a double-edged sword. You really can't get out the shit. But I'm telling you, you better get out of it. And your ass better wake up real quick. Because ain't nobody coming to save you or your damn family but yourself. All right? The African proverb is God, God's got no legs and arms but ours. That's how God operates. Through man and his works. Either your deeds are good or your deeds are bad. What? Whatever it is, let it happen. Anyway, let me get out of here. Tell me what you think, please, because I'm going to go. I'm going to go, and I don't want to go in here and get too bad and then get flagged. So what do y'all think about um, if y'all have seen the Whitakers? If you haven't, please go watch them and then leave your comment below and tell me have you encountered anything like that in your life? Or do you think it's a real big segment of the population that act like that? Tell me about it. Inquiring minds really want to damn know. I'll see you in the next video.